Musa Meher is the co-founder of Tinker Hub Foundation, an organization promoting self-learning and peer mentoring. Inviting Meher to share his stories from Tinker Space, a first of its kind hacker space, settled up in Kochi, Kerala. So Tinker Space is a really cool hacker space in Kochi where people can come together and hack on stuff and build products. And they're doing a really great job with that. So inviting Meher to st share more stories about Tinker Space and you know the story behind it. So my name is Meher. Uh, I'm co-founder of an organization called Tinkera Foundation. So we are a uh, Kerala-based non-profit organization working on how do we bring more uh, makers together or how do we bring the joy of uh, creating, making uh, to more individuals. And uh, this is the story of a physical space uh, where, which we started last year. And uh, before we start, uh, what Tinker Space is all about. Uh, something I really like about uh, being in India Force or in being any conference is meeting similar kind of people. Uh, India Force especially is a uh, really important place for me in the sense like I met really few interesting people last India Force and uh, around last India Force we started the conversation about Tinker Space as well and this is the next India Force and we have built the space and everything happened. Uh, so one quick question comes to my mind is like, so today we met a large number of people, we have seen a large number of really interesting open source projects and everything. And uh, maybe a day after, uh, once the conference is over, when we are going back homes to our villages, to our cities, and uh, some of us are feeling like, okay, probably we should build something together, or maybe we should contribute to that specific uh, project we have seen. and. Uh, I don't know how many of you are having, uh, if you can think about a space, physical space, where you can like maybe uh, middle of the night or in the evening, uh, Sunday early morning, you can just go there, you can uh, ask your friends to come over, you just sit there working together, building something together. Uh, there would be few coffee shops, but uh, always there is a, like I used to go to say uh, Starbucks at times, but I always have this feeling of, oh, I am not buying anything, probably I should buy something. Uh, I have that feeling, uh, but I, I don't know, like how, so we were wondering, what if we can create a physical space which is open for everyone? Uh, like uh, India Force is happening 365 days a, every, a, a year, and maybe e even at midnight as well. Like, it's a very safe space, it's very uh, comfy space, but you can use, go and like meet really interesting people and start having conversation. So that was the thought behind uh, Tinga Space. So it's in Cochin, it's a physical space. It looks like this. Uh, so we have two spaces, one is for learning and one is for meetups, gatherings like that. Together we could host around 200 people. And this, these are different things we are having. Uh, one of the key interesting thing I felt uh, very valuable, especially these days, is like all of us are very fa fascinated about AI and the kind of possibilities and interesting things are happening around and maybe open source models as well. And how many of us are having, like I think some of us are students and some of us are maybe working. How many of us are having an access to a GPU where you can just play around with your ideas and maybe give it a try, maybe uh, tinker with uh, maybe stable diffusion and uh, come up with some more uh, cool things. But uh, it's many times it's not very accessible for most people. So we are having different kind of uh, physical, say, say GPUs, we are uh, maybe maker uh, 3D printers and those kind of things. And these are small uh, numbers from uh, last year. Maybe like we started counting, I think maybe six months back only. So we, ha we hosted around 130 events and 41 organization came. So. Uh, there is a, like, for events, large number of people came. I think maybe close to 3K to 5K people might have came. So we didn't have exact count. But every day there is a check-in if you are coming. So there, are, there is around 1,300 people uniquely came. And they came around, like, maybe five times. And this is like a, like, like it's, it's a physical open, like, think about it like, as a, like a public library for coders, for hackers, for geeks. And these are few stories I actually wanted to share. So one is uh, especially about uh, Tech for Good Labs. So last, uh, in the force, I was talking about Tinker Hub. And uh, just after the conversation when I went out, uh, a gentleman actually with very big smile actually came to me and said, 
My name is Arun Abhay. I'm co-founder of an organization called Tech for Good Labs. And we had this really great conversation. And eventually, uh, what they do is like they help impact organizations, social uh, impact organizations with technology. How do you leverage technology to solve problems? And eventually, they and uh, they came to Cochin. They set up their base there. Few of their uh, teammates are here, and they are helping uh, a large number of social impact organizations across India from Cochin. And uh, they are part of the space. And this is something another really interesting thing happened where uh, how do we leverage, uh, Agami is an organization working in the intersection of law and justice. How do we leverage technology for, uh, in, in the uh, social impact space, especially through a law background. And uh, they hosted this maker residency where 50 people from uh, across in India and from few from abroad also came and they were wondering, uh, like how do you leverage a new technologies like AI in order to bring justice or in order to bring law accessible for more people. And they brought lawyers and uh, domain experts in law. And we brought uh, engineers and maybe people who are good with technology. And we were building, uh, there's one IPS officer from Andhra Pradesh, and he was building a chatbot uh, in order to help the common men with uh, maybe like basics of uh, basic human, maybe, maybe their rights and those kind of things. And this is another thing. So uh, in the first floor, we have, we have, we, bought a bus full of uh, like open source contributors to India Force, and we bought a, our GPU together. So it's there in the first floor. You can just go there, and you can uh, like try out a few open source uh, uh, AI models and everything. And this is one another example. This is a bunch of students from Cochin University. They were using the uh, makerspace available in, at Tinkerspace, and they were. This is the, a photo taken from Europe. Like they were. Uh, they were participating in a mass rover challenge and they were printing their parts using our 3D printer. So uh, like why I should, why I came here and uh, talked about this is like, I think many of us shared the vision of like maybe having a physical space, like all of us are community people, like that's why we are here. And physical space are a big deal that we felt like after uh, we setting up the space less than a year, these many things actually, actually happened. And this is just a gl glimpse of what happened. And uh, we actually want more people to set up more different kind of spaces in different parts of parts of the country. And uh, some, some few things we could maybe after the conversation uh, we could talk about is like we know how to set up a space. We have done that. And running a space is also a like little bit hectic thing. Like you need to make sure all amenities are working and those kind of things. That also we figured out. And hosting events and maybe how do we make a safe space for people just to come and start learning things. That's also we figured out. So something we are still figuring out is like, uh, if, if honestly, we are not very, very sure about like we created communities, online communities and those kind of things. But how do you create a physical safe space for anyone who is coming that, that feel they feel like it's a very safe space or maybe like they could just go to any person and just ask. So how do you create a like a culture like that? Because in India, if you go to, I don't know, like I used to see videos from uh, Europe and different kind of places where people randomly go and say hi and have a conversation. I don't see much of that kind of thing happening here. So there would be a, some reservation. So how do we make some hacks so that people will be feel very free to just go and say hi to different people? That's something we are figuring out. And uh, people who are already working, like most of the participants are maybe 60% are students. Some are out of college and then figuring out what to do, maybe learning a bit of coding and everything. But people who are already deeply working in te technology, maybe who are already doing really good work with, uh, say, force project, how do we attract them? We are still figuring out a bit. And then uh, gender also, like at mid, so there would be some some people like maybe a five ten people working at two o'clock four o'clock in the morning. But uh, that time we don't see much of women. So how do we bring more women? That's also we are actually figuring out. So I just I will just show one video. These are few feedbacks Fingers from people. Makers in order to say space on. Actually, some are in space on. During my first visit, I didn't know what taking space was really about. Self-learn, I to study. I to 
ഒരുപാട് എക്സ്പെക്ടേഷൻ ആയിട്ട് ഒന്നല്ല വന്നത് ഐ ഹാഡ് നോ ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ഇറ്റ് പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് But soon after my visit here, I learned many languages. So it's, it's like a very free place to, um, you know, design. I was able to use this space a lot for my designing purpose without uh, like any disturbance from the outside environment. I think I'm very developers in our community. Our Sahai community, so that makes me very happy too. Recently, I've been able to develop my own large language model using Thinkerspace's own GPU and systems. We got to connect with many important people. especially the chief operating officer of kela satan mission there is unlimited possibilities here so i think um, they were not species any meaning kore adhigam vaan it is it's the best platform to operate and upskill themselves and the alum thing space modulla ethereum space create kedatha adinte pinni pravartikkana ella oru oru vaadu thank i thank thing space for providing us the space so again i'd like to thank the people behind this wonderful community thank you thank you Thank you. Thank you in this space for this. I have two more decks. So most of the like claps are from, uh, coming from like Tinkerer people. <laughs> uh, so uh, so it cost around forty five lakh to set up the space, and monthly it cost around two lakh to run. Bit expensive, and uh, Force United actually helped us to set up the space, and Samagata is helping us to run the space. Uh, i think almost uh, one quarter of the uh, cost are taken care by the community uh, even uh, today like in the sense like the monthly expense no uh, different people from the community who think this is kind of a space should exist are actually funding uh, some part of the uh, activities so something we actually wanted to offer or, or like tell uh, to the uh, wonderful developers out here is like we actually wish to have uh more uh hackers makers come to cochin and share their knowledge and this is something we really was looking forward for a while so we are we actually wanted to introduce our mentor in residence program uh here uh, so that's a quick uh, some announcement sort of thing so what we do is like uh whenever you are free whenever you feel like uh okay i i'll put away maybe a week or maybe couple of days uh as a break sort of thing you could come to cochin we will host you we will take care of your lodging food everything you probably you could work half day and the ha- next half day you talk to our community people uh, maybe offer a small board boot camp and those kind of things uh, so you could just go to tingerup.org/mentorresidence and uh, we are really looking forward to the hackers at india force to come to cochin and share your knowledge thank you <laughs>